That works. Unlike my car that has the nice little slot for it. Hey! Hi. All right, so we saw a movie that has gotten literally no advertising. None. With zero. good reason. <laughs> well, but one of the early reviews for Ex Machina, surprisingly good, especially considering now that we've seen it and disagree <laughs> with them. <laughs> Like, I thought you said it had no reviews. Yeah, I uh, I hadn't heard about it until I got a text from Steven saying, Hey, wanna go see this movie today? <laughs> right? I ain't doing shit, so why not? <laughs> I, I am a bad influence on your movie-going life. <laughs> First Showgirls, now this. Chaffee. Well, yeah, Showgirls? yeah, I yeah. forced them to watch Showgirls. Yeah, it was <laughs> so much fun. And then, and then I forced friends of mine to watch parts of it, because they refused to watch the whole thing. <laughs> so basically we watched, like, the really hilarious sex scene, and then <laughs> all the, like, Strip what it. the fuck moments. <laughs> Man, everybody got like AIDS the, and shit. Well, that and like the the bit with the motorcycles and shit. Yeah, like, like where they're like driving what? around on the stage. Yeah. Okay. okay so, so, but anyway, X yeah. Mahina. Eight point one out of ten on IMDb. Ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Ninety percent. And seventy eight percent on Metacritic. Ninety percent from the critics. Yeah. Well, ninety no, percent on Rotten Tomatoes. From the critics. Yeah. There must not be a lot of entries then, because those would have to be some. That would have to be a lot of really biased critics. I don't know, let me see. Because like, um, it's a very indie feel with the nature shots oh my God, and the yes. unknown actors and the um, steal your gerbs. And uh, I, th I do find it interesting <laughs> that the only videos you've been featured in are ones with full frontal female nudity. Yeah, <laughs> it's a theme. <laughs> All right, that'll become your thing now. <laughs> I think we're going to exhaust quickly because there's not that many. <laughs> not that come out in theaters, that's for sure, but in, like, online, well, I mean, oh, my God, there's so many. It's an unbelievable. <laughs> well, not even just counting pornos. Not normal theaters. In certain theaters, <laughs> however. So uh, the plot of this is actually really simplistic. This guy who basically runs fantasy Google called Blue Book, which kept distracting me because I kept thinking it was like the car pricing guide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. But, okay, so but in this alternate reality, Google is 96% of internet searches. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> that is nuts. Current Google, what's like 80%? To my Yeah. Which realistically, 94 or whatever, Nin isn't that far away, but... It, it, it's like an obscene degree of market dominance. Yeah. Oh, actually, the main, the main actor, Domino Gleason, the blonde guy. Yeah. He's done some so stuff. Yeah. He's actually he's done, done some really interesting stuff. He did About Time in the Harry Potter. That's where I recognized him. Yeah. About he's Time. I'm I'm broken. Who who was he in Harry Potter? I don't know. We'll see. Pretty sure it was a Weasley. Just, mm. just hazarding a guess. Yes, he he had to have been the brothers, uh, one of Fred the and brothers. George. No, one of the no. brothers. No, not not possibly not Fred and George. Percy. No, no, no. Not he Percy. wasn't any of those. No. I'm maybe. thinking he was like Bill, maybe one of the kids. Yeah, he he had to have been the kid. But anyway, no, uh, I saw him in About Time a few years ago. That was actually a pretty good movie. So, yeah, um, so just movie. the plot is that the 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 owner of this company has. I'm gonna open a window to make it. More. He's in Star Wars. Which yeah. is, might actually be why that was tied to. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll get to this later, but the previews were all really inappropriate for the kind of movie that this was. <laughs> but, um, so the plot is that, like, the uh, billionaire head of the Blue Book Company no, has been in his spare time developing AI. You're off camera just seeing it. Hi. <laughs> has been developing AI in his obscenely posh, opulent mountain resort thing where you can fly for two hours and not see his house. But right. beyond his... No, no, yeah, the, the, the two hours is while still being on his land. It's yeah. literally nothing but just this dude's house. And yeah. um, he's brought in one of the employees of his company to be the Turing test to test whether this AI is genuine. And that's basically just the plot. Uh, the guy... Getting to know the AI. Um, there's it's, literally just four actors, not counting some extras in that opening scene. Yeah. It's really weird, though. You would have thought that, like, maybe he would have been able to really, like, interact with the AI face-to-face -face without the glass. 
Because the way they have it, like, the glass and the speakers... Mm. The glass is probably because there there's a flashback well, bit to some... there's a crack of, in the glass. Yeah, there's, like, a flashback bit to some of his earlier tests, and some of them did not appreciate being locked in a room by their they creator. They were kind of fucking... They crazy. got a little violent. One of the... I think the big one was when... <laughs> What, oh my the god, Asian no, one Asian that beat one. her own arms off. Yeah. Oh my god. She's like hammering away at the glass and but uh, And you just see like her like it, body parts and stuff just start falling off. But uh yeah, so the the while the plot's simplistic, it develops more into, you know uh he believes you know, the main character starts falling in love with her because you know, she's very Very realistic. believable. Um but is also very manipulative. And... She's trying to get out. Yeah. Yes. And, and and he like he smells that something's not right the entire time, and he's like, you know, partly because his boss is weird. The, he thinks it's with the boss, and he yeah, doesn't yeah, really yeah, understand the, the that it's with the AI. The boss is as hell, and he like, he's a step ahead of the speed. boss, who's also another step ahead of him. But the robots is seven steps ahead of both of them. Yeah. It's, it's like the boss and this guy are like following two like paths like side by side so they kind of interact a little bit but each one kind of thinks that they're they're ahead of each other yeah but the robot the ai is like it's sort of it's sort of like, it's sort of like those bits it's sort of like those bits in death note where l and uh akira are like hi i out thought you no i out thought you around you're out thought Ooh. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or like a game of magic where it's counter spell, counter spell, counter spell, counter spell, counter spell. <laughs> no, I counter your counter spell. No, you can't do that because I counter your counter of my counter spell. <gasps> yeah, the snag is ridiculous. <laughs> Mind blown. I've seen those games, they take forever. But I, okay, like the main character is actually pretty uninteresting. Yeah, because they, they want to make him feel him. like a very generic character. And you know, so that's that you in, can, it's intentional. You know, it's yeah. not like he was supposed to be the focus of the movie. Because I got to tell you, oh my god, the boss guy is like this weird... He's got like this lumberjack <laughs> beard. And we meet him, he's like beating up... He, he's boxing a, a bag... To work off a hangover from last night. Yeah. Yeah. Which is apparently, that's a great way of getting rid of a hangover, beating... No, it's not. <laughs> but that didn't make sense. Okay, so for someone that can drink an awful lot, how the fuck was he passed out long enough for this kid to go in program? Because more than half a bottle of vodka. Yeah. No, no one's no, awake no. after more than half okay. a bottle but of vodka. Throughout the entire movie, they showed him drinking like a fish until but, the very end. But here's the thing. He put away a lot. But he, no, she's right. He, the guy's she been living alone had, like, for a stamina. years. Yeah. And, you know, the guy shows up and the guy's already got a hangover. And he, he didn't just, look like he had a hangover right. to Okay, me. but <laughs> wait, wait, we also don't know how much he drank off camera. Well, okay. That, no, no, no. <laughs> My main thing the the same my main model. thing over yeah. my main thing with this guy over his drinking was just that he was just a real asshole. Like not even like the way he interacted with his AIs where he was clearly playing God. Mm -hmm. No, he was just kind of an asshole in general. Like but to I his feel employee. Like he was the unintentional asshole. Like That doesn't make that doesn't excuse it. He's no. he's a, he's an asshole to people because I, he doesn't care what they think. Well, it okay, was, he's no, like a okay, million I don't think company. he was really being an asshole. I think it was just more of the eccentricness of him be having been alone for so long, coming off as she being an asshole. He doesn't know how to like deal with people the right way, so it's. I mean, he he's literally lived alone with robots for years. <laughs> yeah, it, it's can a, you really blame the guy? It's a for testament right? to how well that character was written, like the boss character was written. That I was equally interested with his interactions with the main character as as well as the AI's interaction. Yeah. Because, like, watching the AI and him interact is, is interesting because, like, she's trying to get him to tell that there's something more going on, but she can't be upfront about it because camera's everywhere. But then he gets into talking with the boss guy and he's trying to feel out his boss. and it, It's... It's it's all very well written up until um, the end. Up until the well, end. Up, no. Up until the well, part where the guy, like... For some reason, thinks he's a robot, so he breaks open. Oh a razor, yeah, that was God. weird. Gouges out his arm yeah. on camera. It is the weirdest it's, fucking thing. It's so hard to watch. I mean, okay, that was right after he discovered a whole bunch of other 
all female AI dead bodies in like the boss's closets, skeletons it's, in the closet. Yeah, but why so would that make under, you think you're a robot? Because he was convinced that the Japanese girl was a, a human, and then he found out she was a robot. And I, I grant you that him cutting open his own arm and then splitting the blood on the mirror and punching the mirror. Was well, really you know weird. What? Yeah. <laughs> now, now that like we say that, but like, the idea that he uh, was like freaked out, I'm totally on. With. I think that he was freaked out, but at the same time, when he was smearing the blood, it was like he was reminding the other dude that he's human. That Japanese girl was, or the robot was watching him do it. Do you remember no. that? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. No, that because was. She was that, watching no, him because no. when he smears the blood, it showed the, she is it showed watching the camera's him point of view. Oh, okay. And then it and then it cut over to the, her watching the camera. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's reading him every time he moved his arm and his like head. That's right. They yeah, did it at the beginning of the, the movie the too. Face, yeah. And so, oh god. So, so what it weird. so what it eventually came down to was that we had the realization that the boss man is making AI not because he wanted to, but because he wanted a sex slave. Okay. He makes it very well, clear no, that no, Ava. No, I don't think he that's made it. I he think made he, it plainly clear that Ava could have sex, despite looking very inhuman for the most part. I think Her that face. was just part of that conversation. Yeah, yeah. wasn't I think, like I wasn't think it like was to try robot to get this version. Guy to push himself. Yeah, robot, I think that was a. But remember in the in the off. in the um, replay footage of like all his old experiments. Version one was just a human lower, a female lower torso. Okay. No, 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 no. That wasn't the first version. The first version that, that was like he had built the room and he was building the girl in there. He, yeah. The next scene was putting the rest of the body on. Yeah, so which was like a hot a blonde fast... lady who was naked. Okay, so okay. no Again, doubt, the guy's he's... been living alone. Right. So he's been living by himself. And okay, so you guys remember I think when you he were in was high school, I you're think all by he yourself, was living right? by himself <laughs> because he wanted to design a sex robot and you don't I do don't that with think neighbors. That's the case. No. I think he did it he, and he, you he know was after a while you get lonely. Yeah. You get you well, want company and, and you would That's not what that's not why he was designing robots. No, I think he did it over sexualized. Uh, it, at the end, he said something about um, how it, she had to use all the different aspects that of what made someone a he, like made someone conscious. Yeah, they did have and a very so, nice discussion. Why he made her? Um, what was it? I, I thought it was a very good line. If she was just a gray box, why would she want to interact with anything? No, no, that <laughs> that was earlier on. Later on, when like the boss is like. Oh yeah, I I had a camera taught and you know showed him all the the stuff and there's this plot the point that the power keeps failing because Ava keeps overloading it with her power cells. But the boss doesn't know doesn't know that. So well, the cameras don't work during the. He doesn't power know that. Races. So what he's trying to do is I I think he he's having kind of a clue that it's her doing it, and so that's why he puts the battery powered. But he also realizes that nine times out of ten, it happens when they're talking. Mm-hmm. So he's thinking there's got to be a pattern here. There's something that I'm missing that is going on. Anyway, we kind of liked this movie up until like the literally last five minutes. Like yeah. this wasn't even Edge of Tomorrow where like the th- third act kind of screwed the pooch. This was literally the last five minutes. Yeah. Because in this one, Ava escapes and then her and the other robot kill the guy. And um, then the it? guy kind of kills the other robot like. I don't no, know. No, he, he, beats like, he just the knocked other robot. her jaw off. I don't think that would kill her. Yeah, but it wasn't like the ro- the robot yeah, she was never moving. Got back she never Did got not get yeah, back. Yeah, that up. was odd. I, <laughs> um, I, that was just sort of a like, like hanging thread. But it seems like Ava is going to take uh, the main character with her, which you know. You know, the helicopter's coming to pick him back up. It's the end of the week, and she like goes to get like skin and make her. Which look was like weird. Oh, my yeah, God. Was and then she completely ignores him for the last five minutes, and, and just, just like leaves him locked in a room that he can't exit. Yeah. Which right no, before it, it he looked... could have exited, but she told him to stay there, and he tried he's to break stupid. the window. No, 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 no. Before that, he was watching her put her skin oh, on. Oh yeah, he could have followed. He could have walked out. He just chose not to. Mm. Well, no. After she left the room and like went to put on. Oh her... yeah. While she was like at the moment she was gone and the door closed, he was stuck. Yeah. But he was expecting her to come back. 
Yeah. But she it, didn't, it, it did seem like she was AI. going she to, not, yeah. to the audience's point yeah. of view. To, and then it was like, nope, I'm gone. I'm, And then she gets on the helicopter, and the guy who's flying and, the helicopter... And that's the no part, and that's that the part where sense. we're like, what? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, this guy is supposed to pick up this specific person at the end of the week. He flew him in. Same pilot. Yeah. <laughs> the guy doesn't show up. Instead, this girl he's never seen before shows and up. And has just never flown gets there. Gets on a fucking plane, or helicopter, and just goes off. It's like... Despite no! The, fact that the only two people supposed to be in existence at that place <laughs> are, are his boss and this employee guy, and neither one of them was there. Yeah, but doesn't you know the fact is, is that I feel like there would have been questions raised, like, "Hey, I thought you know, is there anyone else coming?" Well, with I can't imagine not? she would have had good answers either. She didn't right? have the guy's key card, so she could have been like, I "Yeah, he gave me this," you know, da da da. But she's yeah, you, you, you you can't explain it. <laughs> but and that's exactly why we get pissed with the movie because. It had good internal logic, and, like, we, we were all getting kind of invested in the story. Yeah, it got weird at parts, but it, we were involved, we were engaged, and then it just, like, got, like, stupid. Yeah. And did something stupid, and she... And for no particular reason, like, her leaving him behind actually makes a lot of sense. Like, yeah. okay, yeah, she was faking falling in love with him. Yeah. But it shouldn't which have gone is, as well as it. Which is what the boss was talking about at one point. He he was like, the test wasn't actually her. you. Uh, the you the test wasn't. She was conscious. It was her m to manipulate. The, yeah, you. He he said she was a rat in a maze, and there was you one were the way exit. out, and he <laughs> was the exit. She had to manipulate him, use her imagination, all that stuff. Yeah, which, which is actually cool. a really good test. And, you know, it worked. And then the movie shit the bed. Yeah. It just... <laughs> so we were frustrated with this movie. <sighs> and of course, she like she she mentions the first place she would go is a busy traffic place. And then she goes there. And is and wearing then different that's clothes. It. Yeah. And then it's it just so it's kinda title. nice though that they like they well, they effectively close on him locked in the room, just sort of giving up. And so That's it is kind of nice that, to so see where she ends up because she does. Anyway, this movie's really incredibly predictable, but she ends up in this. Uh, in terms of area. in terms of plot structure, yeah, it is pretty predictable. But I appreciated the questions and ideas that it had at play yeah. in the conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now the one like because the two guys are really intelligent. Like they're both AI. They're both programmers, so they mm -hmm. know what they're talking about. Yeah, granted. The techno babble that you know they do, as in every movie, is made zero sense if you know what they're yeah. supposed to be talking about. They're just listing random words in a string, trying Hoping to make that it. That you're not gonna know what they're. But the boss about. man had a. <laughs> but the boss man had a habit of being like, you know what? Screw this textbook talk. What do you feel? Yeah. The the thing that the I thought was movie. really weird was when they when he showed the brain, he's like standard computer hardware wasn't working, so I made this new thing. And it's basically like a glass globe with, like, fluid in it. And it's, like, it's like a gel construct that can be solid or uh, yeah, fluid. Yeah, it holds memories and shit. And which like, is, like, how, as, well, a really neat idea. Yeah, which as a concept is really clever. But, as 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 but how the hell did you make that? You completely skipped that part. Yeah, you, got, you gotta remember impressive. this guy is all alone in the middle of a bump No, nowhere. he's not all alone all the time. He runs a fucking multi-billion dollar he's national search alone. engine he's company. He's running this company from his home. Yeah, he, he said it's something not like about he's having going out. I'm sorry, but stuff, uh, to run a company like that, you do have to make public appearances. Well, I feel like every once in a while, but it's not like he's really doing it a lot. Yeah, and he did say something about having enough optical fiber to... Yeah, that was a good line. ...to go to the moon and lasso it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the house was really a, like he's got The house was there. a test facility, specifically. Yeah, and it just... That like, was a good line. There the, were some good lines. Yeah, the, and the, the 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 movie did kind of like in in the beginning, the boss makes a comment about how you know this is supposed to be a test, and if the you know if the human is interacting with a computer and doesn't know it's a computer, then the test is considered passed. And then like you see you see the AI, and she's very machine looking, and it almost makes you think, well, wait a minute, if you know, How am I supposed oh my to God, not the know she's a machine? Girl. Well, he totally thought she was human, though. Yeah. So. Right. Well, well, and and I kind of predicted that, but I was thinking that the boss was a robot. 
not oh, yeah, be, for like the yeah, longest time. Asian, you think yeah, Chinese you, you for the, for a little while there, you think like the Japanese girl who doesn't speak English, you think she's like a spy or she's up to something, but it turns out she's just a robot. Oh god, until she, she starts like peeling her skin off, which just is so weird looking. I thought it was just so weird that oh like, god, I was she like... w- well, <laughs> what was weird is you know it was the middle of the day when they were drinking, so you know no one drinks in the middle of the day. First off, they're in the middle of nowhere. It's not like they have a lot it's to true, do. True, but it's the middle. <laughs> Middle of the day. Um, I mean, and they, two, they can go on nature hikes to the glacier falls. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and then like, so he gets his boss passed out drunk, and he steals the card so he can go like mess with his computer and whatnot. And then he walks into the bedroom to find all the, the and the na- and the Japanese and the lady, Japanese she's just, just laying in the bed, just naked, naked for no reason. Yeah. Like, I, I again, female full frontal nudity. Yeah. Surprising amount of it. None of it's sexual that we got to see. Yeah. Mostly it's it was more most yeah that mostly. Oh, sex oh no, no, it's totally, like, it's totally. I, totally I think the really weirdest part was the dance thing. Yeah, yeah that was out that of that was so at the weird. Moment, you don't know that she's a robot, and you know that she doesn't speak English. So how did they choreograph like dance? Because well, she was okay. a robot. Yeah. Because she was a robot, so now it makes sense. Yeah. But, but at the you time, you're like, it, you're what? Just like, what? What is the fuck this? Is happening? Like, the guy walks in and he's like, "It's She's another... not meant for doing anything except dancing." <laughs> 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 it's and another it's like... one of those moments where the boss man is just weird. Like he's off this whole movie. Like yeah. he tries to be chummy. And he's good at trying to be chummy, but he's just yeah. off the whole it movie. It just doesn't make any sense. Hi, officer. Her. Bye, officer. I kind of thought he was going like. We come do up nothing to us. illegal. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> Though your front window looks like we're hot boxing. Put on the <laughs> okay. Does anyone have any final thoughts? I thought it was a disappointment, and <sighs> as a whole. Yeah. I feel like I would see this movie on Netflix if it came up, but. Honestly, I, feel like I this, don't know if I would yeah. go out of my way to see it on in theaters. No, no. If I knew that it was like this, I'd have been well, like, okay, we can wait. Yeah. My my, my other problem with my, my uh, one of the problems I had with the movie was the amount of nature shots, just like with Chappie. Yeah, just random nature shots Na- for no reason. Sho- no, so the, I know Chappie. the reason. It's to fill film time. Yeah. They don't have to write more story. They just <sighs> but that's, fill it with nature shots. And it wasn't. A, and it wasn't a particularly long movie either. I mean, I think it we got out. To, we got like out about hour. what twelve twenty. Yeah, that's like but an it, that's an hour and a half movie. You don't get those much anymore. But like the annoying bit was, you know, I'd say at least ten minutes of that was nature shots. <laughs> yeah, cool. Stephen, thoughts? <sighs> Just. I'm sorry I keep taking you to stuff like this, man. <laughs> I promise we'll go see Avengers. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do I'm, for Avengers? I'm gonna take all my friends. And I'm gonna split us into two separate cars with two cameras. <laughs> oh God! Because we can do that now. Yeah. No, we can totally do that. <laughs> but are we gonna have two separate discussions? Yeah. Or? It's like there'll be one discussion in one oh, car, one discussion like, in another I, car. No, I won't cut them together. It'll be two separate videos. Uh, well, okay. what I was thinking was just like open window, have cars parked. <laughs> see, and the, see, across. see, the thing is, like with like eight people, the discussion is unmanageable. <laughs> Like, four or five is about as much as you can get and mm-hmm. actually keep yeah. the discussion flowing. I mean, um, we can still make it work. We've got my car on my camera. So. Yeah, okay, so previews. We have Jurassic World. Seen this preview a lot yeah, now, we're but... Just, it, we're, we're still seeing it. Yeah, There's same no one. It, we're going to see it. Chris Pratt, um... Sharkbait. Sharkbait. Ooh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Chronosaurus. <laughs> um, the Velociraptors as sort of the attack dogs of Chris Pratt. Yeah. Yes. All the yes. All the yes for that. That would be good. But, um, then we got the Mad Max trailer. Have you guys seen that trailer on the big screen before? I have not like seen the trailer before. But I, I don't know. I saw I, it once or twice, but I don't really understand it. And all it reminds me of is Borderlands. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of well, Borderlands. Because, because Mad Max inspired the first Mad Max. Oh, yeah, totally. one of the big inspirations for Borderlands. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, Mad Max is like uh, this it, post-apocalyptic film from the 80s. Yeah. Um, everyone drives around in cars because gasoline is still working yeah. after the apocalypse. Burn them wells. The, the, the point is is that like the rest of the world was nuked except Australia because why would you bother nuking Australia? So Australia just kind of devolved into this like anarchic state. Okay. 
Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's it's ba- basically just a revenge movie in a yeah. really yeah. neat setting. Well, uh, and it, but so it Mad Max Fury like, Road, Fallout and whatnot. Mad Max Fury Road, though. I what I love oh. about it is that despite being a desert movie. It's so colorful. Yeah. It's bursting with color. They've got the flares. They've got gasoline explosions everywhere. Yeah, it, it looks like it'd be pretty good. They have those amazing, like, sandstorm shots. See, like, you, you people are not going to go see it for the storyline. They're going to go see it for, for the, the kick action. butt action. Yeah. Who was the actor? Nicholas Holt. Um, he was in Warm Bodies, and he's also in X-Men. Um, what the hell? Who was he in Warm Bodies? Because I saw that. He was the main character. Right. Oh, was he? No! Oh, different yes, he guy. Was. That is not... How much you want to bet? To the it's internet. Completely different guy. No, no, this no. Is the, this is no, the... No, no, no. This is the Trust actor who me. was in, like, um, Spy Game or something. Also, where those two guys no, fight over that girl. No. I, I watched Warm Bodies with a friend of mine. It's a good movie. Yeah, it, well, it, it was good. And, you know, in the beginning we were like... This, well, the R obviously stands for Romeo, and then the fucking balcony right, okay. scene, and we were like, we're done. Oh. No, no, <laughs> okay. we're okay, done. The guy's name is Tom Hardy. Yeah. No. Yeah. From Mad Max Fury Road? Oh. The, the first build is Tom Hardy. Oh, sorry, uh, honey. Nicholas Holt is the third one. Wait for it. Yeah. I'm about to prove you wrong. Okay, so Nicholas Holt is in the uh, movie. Warm Bodies, right? Warm yeah. Bodies, X-Men Days of Warm Future Bodies. Stars. But Nicholas Holt wasn't Mad Max. Nicholas Holt oh, was that, I, like, white guy. I wasn't saying guy. that. Yeah, that's oh, what I was saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would totally be him. Wow. Nicholas Holt has gotten a lot I'm of movies is. where he has to go in with full face makeup, apparently. <laughs> oh my God, he must love it, though. <laughs> But, um, and it looks like there's going to be, like, a main female character who's, like, going to kick all Charlize sorts of ass. Charlize Theron's And actually, I'm always um, for Australian kick-ass action. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always for kick-ass women in movies. We yeah. Last good one was, like, Terminator 2. No, no, no wait, what Kill the hell Bill. Are you... Kill Bill. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about with Terminator 2? You kick realize ass female lead. You realize um, both of those are like over a decade old and... Okay, so name had... Kill Bill's not a decade so, old, is it? Kill Bill was like the late 90s. Yeah, but it's no, no... Ter- ter- Terminator was not... Terminator a... 2? Terminator 2 still wasn't. Screw that. Terminator 3 had the kick-ass female You pedantic robot. piece of shit. Terminator 2, Judgment Sarah Day. Connor kicked... All the ass. Um, okay, whatever. Did you not see the scene where she blows holes There's in been the a ton Terminator of, X? Uh, okay, movies name set. a good one. I, I don't watch movies. I, I know there has been. I can't okay, think of it. Okay, Insurgent. Anything. How about that? Mm, he's got me. He's got me. Yep. And then the Hunger Games. <laughs> see, see the video of what? Three weeks ago? Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> yeah, so. It's still an underserved market, though. Yeah, but it's it, like, okay. But but to be fair, la- in the last I'd say five years, there's been a like a, a very large uh, boom. Yeah, the, boom the, in. The, the we're all is, tired. It's late. The thing is, when they try who, too hard, is when we get Resident Evil movies and Tomb Raider. <laughs> to be fair, the Resident Evil movies are really good action flicks. They're stupid as hell. <laughs> okay, uh, last one. Shit, what was it? Star, Star Wars. Wars? Star Wars, which we did not watch. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, you, you didn't, didn't, you didn't watch the preview? No, we well, ignored it. Why? Um, well, I, I I ended up going in and watching Guardians of the Galaxy without seeing any previews whatsoever. I literally I knew nothing about it. I can about. tell you that, like, this preview and it, is, like, it t- tells you nothing. Well, yeah, it but I don't, w- I don't want any, like, teaser yeah, I, images. I don't want anything. I haven't seen anything about the movie, and I'm keeping it that way. Yeah, I... All right, I'll be sure to not post anything. I, I'm doing I the mean, same. I'm staying away from To be fair, I haven't gone out of my way to see the second preview. Mm. That was that one that they played was the first preview, which is yeah. very general. It just it. shows shots yeah. of stuff. Um, like, I think there's, like, a Claymore lightsaber. Mm. Yeah. You might have seen that. Yeah, I've seen, I've I've heard about it. I've seen yeah. a ton of images of that thing. But, um, but um, okay, so but like the second preview apparently goes more into plot and features yeah. main characters, and so I haven't I gone out of my way just, to see that. The amount of previews and trailers nowadays that spoil a lot of good moments in movies, I yeah. don't want to do that. But with that's why I nowadays. love the Mad Max trailer. It doesn't spoil it. Yeah, that thing. one was just. Action. There's nothing to spoil. <laughs> there's gonna be cars. There's gonna be explosions. There's gonna be people in sick makeup. <laughs> okay, so um, 
Oh, and personal note for me, I've been so bad about making new videos, and I do apologize for that, but uh, shit's been happening in my life. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, you'll probably find out about it in more detail soon, unless you follow me on Twitter, in which case you already know. So, um... everything on Twitter? Basically everything no. in my life on Twitter. Okay. I mean, not everything, everything. <laughs> I don't, I don't provide pictures. <laughs> yes, that's Instagram. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, we'll see you all for Avengers. Yeah, Avengers. Because there, 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 there's, there's nothing else out right now. Because nobody wants to compete I, with Avengers because they will fail. I had to dig for this movie. Like, I didn't even get... I, I, I was like, what movies are out? That was literally what, movie showtimes. That's what I searched. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to see it. Seen it, don't want to see it. Seen it. What the hell is this? Ex yeah. Mahina, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I had heard of it, I just hadn't heard anything really about it. Oh, I guarantee oh, Cinema you know Sins is going to be filled with night. Ex Machina puns <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. In the machine. Yeah. So if we take out the god part and it's just in the machine, is that like a sex pun or something? It could I be. I think it is. <laughs> well, the, the whole movie... I don't know if that like, was the original intent. Like, in ten minutes into the movie, it started feeling like like it wanted to be the movie Her. And was that good? I haven't seen it. I, want to I just know, know, know what it's... I just know Netflix. it's Scarlett Johansson and... Uh, Joke, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin yeah. Phoenix? Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. Joaquin. But, you know... Phoenix. I know the right. premise, and it just <laughs> felt like it was trying to be another man. I don't know. No, I felt, I it felt went way. From, well, it started no. to do. No, that's what it felt like, and then it went to the weird, shitty <laughs> bits of the like. The only uh, bit that it had in common was the falling in love with the robot. Yeah, thing. like in well, her, what, what he falls in love, but like this guy, it's not really set up the same way. I think the setup for her is more this guy becomes emotionally dependent on a machine. Mm -hmm. And it, it's 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 more about the humans interacting with the robots. This one was more about the robots. Yeah. Eh. I, don't know. I, I, for one, welcome it's a our roller soon coaster. To, I, for one, so welcome our soon-to-be robot overlords. <laughs> Just in case you're checking YouTube. Have I, fun, you know, like, trying to control the human race. When they do something Yeah, stupid, good luck with that. That was my thing. I loved in the Animorph books, the reason the Yurks didn't, like, invade with military the humans was because their early reports <laughs> were like, yeah, if you do that, the humans are going to fight to the last man. It's going to be a pain in the ass. We're going to lose a lot of them. <laughs> 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 and you know, bullets are actually really effective on our like <laughs> aliens. Like, oh, there are no laser guns, but bullets, flesh, rip, tear, pain, hurt, yeah. and a lot of them have guns that aren't in the military. <laughs> At least in some like, countries. Oh, of course, all the reports were from like back ass nowhere America, <laughs> not like somewhere that doesn't have guns. Go in the fucking Europe. deep south, like oh. right yeah, in like bum fuck nowhere. Yeah, Alabama. the deep south is waiting for an alien invasion. <laughs> like yes. Or a zombie apocalypse. Something. Oh my God. Just something that They've justifies their, their paranoia of everything. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bert would do great. <laughs> Alright, so uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.